Okay, so this is uh, uh, again another large and imposing piece of kit. This is a Fluke 5200A uh, programmable AC calibrator. Now they call it programmable because you can put a remote control card uh, into it and then you can drive the, the remote control card uh, with TTL logic. Uh, but not uh, GPIB or, uh, or anything uh, more modern. Uh, I bought this to uh, go with the uh, 5440B uh, that I've just finished. And this is actually the second one. Uh, these units are uh, temperamental. Uh, and they're heavy and they don't travel very well. And so the uh, people that I bought the first one off, uh, when I got it, uh, it was basically dead. So I was able to ship it back to them and they sent me the this one here. Now this one here doesn't look like it's been uh, knocked around too much. Uh, you can see some uh, uh, little things like the, the zero here is uh, a little bit out of whack. Um, but apart from that, it looks pretty clean. Uh, all the switches work, so I've plugged it in. And you can see that I've hooked up uh, my, let me see if I bring that forward a little bit. Um, I'm gonna just see if I can zoom in and we can see the value there, yep. And then we can zoom out. So we'll take a look and see how accurate this guy is. So I've got it plugged in, so let's go and turn it on. Now the first thing that it's going to go do when it, uh, it turns on, it's got to warm up uh, and reach the right uh, frequency. And uh, you'll see that um, uh, the various LEDs uh, will come on. And uh, uh, this uh, control here tells me whether I'm putting voltage in or out. This uh, control doesn't really matter because I don't have the remote control card. This is the phase lock control and the phase lock control enables me to um, go and uh, uh, lock to a, a particular source. Uh, if the internal oscillator clock, if this clock that I set here is within 2% um, of uh, what I'm uh, targeting, then uh, I can lock onto it. Uh, I'm just going to use the internal oscillator for this purpose, so we'll leave that turned off. And the sense lines, and the sense lines give me the option of either sensing directly here at the terminals or putting in a, another set of sense lines uh, over here that will I could take to the end. Now, I'm not after accuracy, I'm just after general verification that it works. So I'm gonna stick with internal sensing here. So here we go, let's uh, set, and you'll notice that I'm not getting any LEDs here. Now, let's just want it. These, how they actually plug in, these plug into a little like, was effectively a little uh, tube-like extension that plugs into the board. And so these things can get knocked out of alignment and can, if we go see, you know, you'll see it's moved over there. But uh, they have a little bit of crust on them, so if this works, I'll uh, take that out and then uh, go and uh, uh, actually uh, uh, clean up the, the cruft and, and get it working. Uh, these are a real hassle to take out because there's like 11 million odd gears and bolts and stuff in this front part that run all of these uh, controllers. They're not like the 5440 being digital. Um, so now that we've got that, let's set it for one volt. We'll set it for 60 hertz. You can see the, the 60 hertz, one volt set here. Internal sensing, phase lock off. Let's uh, turn it on. And if we look up here, we'll see what we get. Oh, let me set that to... Uh, wah, 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 wah. Okay, I'm not getting any AC voltage uh, at all. Uh, I have it set for, oh, I have it set for one millivolt. Hang on. Let me go and you'll see that now we've changed into volts. We're still here. Oh, wah, 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 again. If we go up and let's, uh, let's just zoom in. Let me just lock that in. Let's just zoom in a bit and you'll see even though I have this set for one volt, I'm getting a variant voltage that uh, seems to be a bit like half of something. It's bouncing around uh, quite a bit. Um, you saw that because this is an AC calibrator, you have the opportunity here to go and set 
a frequency and I have 60 Hertz set so let's go and press uh, frequency here and see what we get okay bouncing around a little bit you know if it's stuck around 59 ish I could buy it I think there's something wrong because every now and then it drops down to like uh, 56 so I think uh, if we go back to voltage I think there's going to be a problem so let's uh, uh, see what happens when I run through the calibration stuff we'll do that uh, in another video catch you soon bye